Hey there, Logan here, professional barista for MajestyCoffee.com, and today I've got here with me two grinders from Eureka, the Mignon Specialita and the Zenith 65E. Two pretty different grinders, so we're going to go over the specs and features and help you figure out which is the best for you. Let's get started. All right, so first things first, let's go over the features and specs of each of these grinders. The Mignon Specialita has 55 millimeter flattened steel burrs, while the 65E has 65 millimeters, so quite a bit larger, uh, also flat and steel as well. Both of those are gonna have the stepless micrometric adjustment system, and that adjustment is from the bottom burr. So that being said, when you take your hopper off to do your cleaning, you remove the top burr, clean it out, put it back on and you won't have to redial in either of these grinders, which is a great feature. Another major difference we should note here is the Mignon Specialita being about 14 inches tall versus the Zenith 65E being almost 24 inches tall. So size will be a big factor as well as overall weight. Whereas this is a nice build quality and it's pretty heavy, but the 65E is quite a bit heavier, which is a good thing because it will stay put on your counter space. Inside these two machines, the 65E is going to run 1650 RPMs with a 510 watt motor, whereas the Mignon Specialita has the 260 watt motor running 1350 RPMs. So there is quite a bit of difference there and you'll see it in the speed of your grinding. With the 65E being able to grind about 18 to 22 grams of espresso in about 5 seconds versus the Mignon Specialita which will take between 9 and 11 seconds. Another key difference here being the 65E will be quite a bit louder, whereas the Specialita has been specially designed to be more of a silent grinding technology. Uh, some key differences here is the Mignon Specialita has the touchscreen, whereas the 65E has this nice, simple, uh, more analog version. Each of these grinders has an on-off shutoff valve, so you can remove the hoppers for cleaning. Another feature of the 65E is this adjustable chute here, which you can position up and down to aim the grinds into the center of your portafilter, something that the Mignon Specialita does not have. The Mignon Specialita is gonna have a 12 ounce hopper, while the 65E has a three pound hopper, so there's a major difference there. While the 65E specializes in being a high speed espresso grinder, the Mignon Specialita has a bit more variation in its design, where you can grind anything from French press all the way to Turkish coffee. So the major differences being between these two grinders that the 65E is a little bit more specialized to be a high speed espresso grinder grinder in a commercial setting, whereas the Mignon Specialita, while being useful in a commercial setting, might be more of a home grinder due to its size and overall build. The 65E will boast more speed and reliability, giving you back-to-back -back consistency in a high-speed setting, whereas the Mignon Specialita gives you more versatility and a little bit more silent uh, grinding technology. Both of these grinders have very simple on and off mechanisms. Quickly powering on, the difference being the 65E uh, displays a nice little Eureka logo as it's powering on. Now, both of these grinders are going to have Eureka's patented clump crushing technology, the ACE system. Both of them will give you pretty consistent and fine results. I will say, however, the Mignon Specialita does a little bit of a better job giving you more fine, powdery, pillowy espresso, whereas the Zenith kind of compromises that for the speed and eventually will clump up a little bit more. Though this is an easy issue to solve if you get yourself a distribution tool for this machine. I'm happy to say both of these grinders have very low retention and it's very easy to make your quick adjustment, grind through about one dose and you'll see those instant results. Also, after testing out both of these grinders, I can say that both pull very consistent and fine shots of espresso, and I wouldn't say one is necessarily better than the other, though they will give you very different results. 
Specifically speaking, in a high speed setting, you can't pull as many shots on the Mignon Specialita because it will begin to overheat. Whereas the Zenith, you can basically pull back to back to back and those larger burrs will do more of a consistent job grinding your espresso. I'd say overall, I'm happy to report both of these grinders are very user intuitive and very easy to learn how to use quickly. Both of them having the very easy single and double dose with the plus and minus on them. I will add, however, that the 65E is pretty nice with these analog buttons. You'll never have to worry about your fingers being wet or anything like that, as well as this wonderful light down below that illuminates the grinds as they come out so you can see what you're working with, whereas the Mignon's Specialita does not have this feature. So both of these grinders have that stepless micrometric adjustment system and let me say I am a huge fan of this. You're able to get very very fine-tuned results with this system. So I'd say overall what's going to help you decide which machine is best for you is what your needs are in your setting. Are you wanting more of a home grinder with the versatility and the more silent technology and the compact design or are you looking for more of a commercial grinder that's going to give you high speed results and have these wonderful features built in to help you and your staff. That being said, I will say both these grinders are fantastic and could be used in a home or cafe setting. With the Mignon Specialita being a very low volume cafe grinder and the 65E being able to be used in a more high speed, higher volume cafe. I'd say overall, both of these grinders are very beautiful from all angles, and both of them have a very, very solid build quality. If you'd like more information on these grinders, we do have individual videos reviewing each of them and going more in depth about their features and specs. So head over to our YouTube channel to check those videos out. So there you have it, a quick comparison of these two wonderful grinders from Eureka. If you like what you see, you can find the links for them in the description down below. Head over to majestycoffee.com and our customer support team is standing by via live chat or phone to help you make the right decision. And like, comment any questions you may have, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.